Well, Sonic, we're here. Sonic we are. We are officially less than five days to go ahead of your fight with Twisted Wolf. How do you feel on that? I feel amazing, you know? I'm so excited for this opportunity, you know? Uh, this guy wanted to fight me. We used to be best friends, and now, now we're going into the ring. And uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing, you know? I can't wait to be back. I got to feel the real me again. I've been feeling like myself again in this training camp. I didn't feel myself for the stage fight. But this time, I feel myself, and uh, I'm going to show that when we get in the ring on Saturday. Sonic... Obviously, you're coming off a loss against Sage. How did that feel when you first took the defeat to Sage? It was it was frustrating. The loss was very frustrating. Sage was a guy who I used to be very friend, very close friends with. We used to be very good friends. We used to train together. I helped him prepare for the Bowser fight back in 2020. And uh, he did lose, unfortunately. He was winning the whole fight. He could have won with one second left. He got caught. And listen. Oh, listen, man. You know, uh, Sage was a guy who we were going into the fight. I wanted to put him out. He talked a lot of shit during the buildup. After getting his ass whipped against Bowser in the rematch. Um, but, you know... In life, it is what it is, you know. Sometimes we take losses, but I'm going to make a comeback this Saturday. And Twisted Wolf's going to be the one that's going to have to suffer. Uh, Sonic, how much improvement are you making ahead of this fight with Twisted Wolf? I made a lot of improvements. Um, my skills and defense are getting better. Everything is getting better. <laughs> I think I'm improving as an athlete every single day, especially since the loss. Because after the Sage fight, I went into hiding for a couple of weeks and then went back to training. Um, I started getting back in there. I was trying to get some fight signs in May. See who won on the Twist Wolf, the one that won the fight. So, <clears throat> like, screw it. All right, Twist Wolf, take the fight. And then he made the fight official in the summertime. And now we're here. We are, uh, I believe, um, five days away. I don't know that many days, but we're five days away already, much. Probably a little bit less. So, um, I'm looking forward to the fight. So, obviously, this is a huge fight. You versus Twisted Wolf. Twisted Wolf used to be one of your best friends. You guys used to have been very close, very supportive of one another. And now... You guys are on the verge of disliking each other very badly. You guys have serious grudge. Is that is the trash talk and all the beef gonna affect you? Especially since this used to be a friend of yours. No, it's not gonna affect me. You know, I'm not phased by this guy. I've been in fights. I mean, look at the first time Mario. Mario talked so much shit to me, and I finished him. I knocked his ass out cold. Like, look, I'm not trying to start you with Mario. I heard he's actually going to be the backup of the fight, just in case if someone pulls out. So if someone, me and Twistable pulls out, Mario's going to be the backup. I heard he's also going to weigh in on on Friday morning, too, just in case they're going to need him on last bit notice. But you get my point. Basically, though, I'm not phased by the guy. You know, Twisted Wolf thinks he's an intimidating figure. He's not. Twisted Wolf is not intimidating. I did so much for that guy. I helped him so much in his career. Rise it up. I've helped him rise his career so much as a fighter. Even though he lost against Bowser Jr., he still improved because of me. I helped him. And, and he wanted to be a dickhead. And even though I wanted to do the Team Mario, start off a chapter. We were trying to bring him there so we can go have a Team Nerd. That was the goal. We're trying to take out Gorilla Johnny and them guys. But then Twist Wolf and his faggot team had to go to Gorilla Johnny. Like a fucking pussy. Because they know that their own team couldn't stop Team Mario. I accepted defeat. They can't. They can't accept defeat. In their hearts, they know they lost. 
And I'm just going to have to really shut it down when I get in the ring on Saturday. Um, Sonic, how is training going and who have you been training with? Uh, I've been training with Team Mario. Training's going very well. Putting in the work. Uh, guys like Mario, Luigi, and Daffy are helping me prepare for this fight with Twisted Wolf. Bowser would also even come in once in a while and uh, help train me as well. So, Bowser's been helping me as well. So, all the guys have been really putting in, we've all been working to get better as fighters, you know, and I'm going to, I'm going to prove that when we get in the ring, you know, I'm going to prove, I mean, Twizzle's probably been training, he's probably been doing well, and good for him, he needs to bring everything if he wants to beat me on Saturday, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just me and him in that ring, and I'm going to be the one coming out of there victorious. Sonic, obviously, you go in there and win. What's next for Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, I still want to get my way back up to the title. Um, Obviously, I had a bit of a setback against Sage. But, you know, sometimes we all have those setbacks. And sometimes in life, we lose. But redemption is going to be taking place this Saturday when I destroy uh, Twist the Wolf. Now, Twist Wolf's a good fighter, but I'm better. And I'm going to prove that when we get in the ring. So, I just believe what I'm going to do in there is just, I'm just going to just destroy him. He doesn't know what's coming to him. He doesn't know. He thinks the Sonic that's gonna, that uh, I fought against Daffy Duck or Mario the first time. Or even the second Mario fight and all my other past fights. Or even the Sage fight. No, that ain't gonna be the fun you're fighting. You're fighting a different Sonic, a hungry Sonic. And he's gonna have to see that when we get in the ring, you know, he's gonna get demolished. And I'm excited to put a beating on this kid. He deserves it. He snaked me like an ass. And he's gonna act like I'm the one that snaked him. But I truly didn't. I was trying to bring him and his guys onto the team as well. But they didn't want to. They didn't want to go into the team. They wanted to snake us. They wanted to go to Team Sheldon. They started an alliance with Team Sheldon. And now they're supporting each other. But when Bowser beats Gorilla Johnny, eventually Team Gorilla Johnny is going to fall. And they're going to keep getting broken. Look at Sheldon. He's coming off a loss against Black Panther. Who the fuck is Black Panther? Like, bruh, Sheldon's career is going downhill. This is the Bowser fights. Bowser done broke that guy. But it's okay. You know, at the end of the day, um, we all eventually fall down. But if anything, we're the last to go. They're going to go down first. And that's a guarantee. Sonic, obviously, when you first started Beef, what was your motivation to join Team Mario? Well, after the Bowser fight, um... When I woke up from getting KO'd, I was just thinking a lot of things of what the fuck happened. You know, I'm thinking, at this point, there's nothing I could really do. I lost three fights in a row, two of them to Team Mario members, including indeed Daffy Duck and Bowser. The shouting fight was just, eh. That fight was just a waste of my time. I took that try to get a redemption, but whatever, that didn't really go well. But it is what it is. That's in the past. Look, at the end of the day, I think that was the night where a lot of things changed. History was made. Um, I eventually had to put my grudge to an end, put my dislike for fight for Mario, and say, fuck it. At the end of the day, why are we sitting here beefing still? We've already fought. We've already settled our business in the ring multiple times. So, you know, at the end of the day, I decided, hey... I apologize for everything, because I did say some fucked up shit. I changed that night. I changed as a man, and I proved that. And I moved my... I made the switch to Team Mario, and ever since that time, it's been the best decision I've ever made in my life. You know, they're very respectful people there. They're very kind. They're helping. All those guys are really cool people, so... I got nothing but respect for those guys. And 
at the end of the day, I'm going out there. I'm going to win this fight for them. And I'm going to win this fight to get my revenge and release my anger and release everything on Twisted Wolf. I've been the way he was just because he decided to snake me. Because even though I've done everything for the guy, I've helped him so much in his career. Helped him as a fighter, <coughs> as a person. And he decided just to say, Sonic, I'm going to snake you. And now look where we are. We now dislike each other. But you know what? It is what it is. Sonic, will you shake hands with Twister Wolf? I think um, as, a per as a fighter, when two fighters get in the ring, they should always show respect at the end, no matter how much beef there is. Because at the end of the day, we shared the ring with each other. And me and Swiss Wolf are going to share the ring on Saturday. <coughs> and no matter what happens, even if I lose, I'll always show my respect to, to them as a fighter. I might not like him as a person, but I respect him as a fighter for stepping up to the table and taking on, taking me on. And at the end of the day, if Twister Wolf wants, if I can shake hands, I will. But I doubt Twister Wolf's going to shake my hand because he's a piece of shit. Twister Wolf has no self-dignity. He has no respect for anybody besides his own team. He didn't have any respect. He wasn't there when I lost against Daffy Duck. He wasn't there. The only guys, the only guy that was there really for me was Rocket Raccoon when I lost. That was it. And he's the only one that he's one of the guys that joined the team when I switched. So Rocket's like one of the only real friends I ever really had. But you know, at the end of the day, Team Mario are real ones. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I mean, I, I will shake hands, but. I don't think Twisted Wolf will. He's, his own ego will not let him put it aside to once where we can say respect after a good fight. Win or lose. We, are in, we did enter the ring with each other at the end of the day. So, yeah, that's basically it. Well, Sonic, one last question, then we'll end it off. When you get in the ring with Twisted Wolf, what is the number one thing you're going to look at? What What are you going to see in his eyes? I'm just going to look at him. When we stared down in the center of the ring, in my head, that's just me saying, that's it. You're done. I'm going to finish you right here, right now. You're going to regret all your decisions stepping in the ring with me. And I'm going to show him that when we get in the ring on Saturday. And Sonic, what is your predictions? I think I'll wear him down. Twist Wolf is durable. He is always one of the toughest guys I spar with. But at the end of the day, I'm going to finish him. And I'm going to make a statement on this in this uh, fight. I'm going to make a statement and I'm going to win. I think round seven, I'll knock him out. Well, Sonic, thank you for the interview. Thank you, Lorax. Uh, good luck to you on your fight on Saturday against Twister Wolf. Sonic, thank you, Lorax. I'll see you soon.